so in the previous classes we have seen the concept of relation algebra right what is the need of relation algebra which is going to take set of relations as input and going to produce a new relation right on meaning that on the set of relations which is going to produce a new relation on the set of relations we can able to apply various kind of relation algebra operations i mean you can able to apply select project join etc these are the various kind of operation that you can able to do so basically the reason why we discuss the concept of relation algebra is actually we are going to have the common kind of databases those are coming from we can call it as relational databases relational databases right so these databases if you want to communicate compulsory required a language called sql language so to make it clear understanding for the sql language we can able to use a language called relational algebra it's a kind of theoretical concept so this is the heart of the uh, sql so that's the reason we said the concept of relational algebra right so and there is one more kind of uh, rdbms uh, is there rdbms language is there that is uh, uh that is also one kind of a language where that language is used for to communicate with the rdbms the language name is let me check query by example the language name is query by example query by example is also a kind of a language which is meant for to communicate with rdbms right so if you want to write the queries in query by example language you are going to use a theoretical concept called relational calculus relational calculus that's the reason now in this class we'll see the new concept that is relational calculus okay fine so basically uh, if you take relational algebra relational algebra is a procedural or non procedural it's a kind of a procedural language because it is going to follow certain sequence of operation meaning that the order in which you are going to write the sequence of operations the same order is going to be executed right for example if i am trying to say that product of inner query projection can we able to interchange these projections no because projection is a non commutative so that is what i can call the sequence of execution of operation right so meaning that in relational algebra whatever the way that you are going to write the query in the same order of precedence it is going to execute right that is what the meaning of procedural language whereas coming to relational calculus it is a non procedural language there is no particular procedure going to followed by this language non procedural language okay so coming to the definition relational algebra is going to take the set of relations as input and is going to produce the new relation as output the same thing is going to happen relational calculus is also going to take set of relations as input is input and it is going to produce new relation as output new relation as output that's it right so how we are going to write any kind of relational calculus means relational calculus query means you can able to simply uh, follow two approaches one is trc approach another one is drc approach trc means what tuple relational calculus tuple relational calculus drc means domain relational calculus meaning that the name itself having the clear meaning tuple means what a kind of row right if you would like to filter the rows we are going to use tuple relational calculus we are going to use simply tuple relational calculus meaning that i would like to get a tuple call t get a tuple call t which is going to satisfy a condition called p of t this is the general syntax i am going to follow in tuple relational calculus so the meaning of p of t is means it's a kind of a predicate i hope you know the meaning of predicates predicates means something like a kind of conditions a kind of conditions like when you are going to observe uh, the predicates in first order logic right you have gone to the first order logic in discrete mathematics where the predicates predicates you have observed right predicates means it's a kind of 
collection of various kind of connectives connectives means it can be and or 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 not or implication like that various kind of connectives are there in addition to these we have quantifiers are also there right quantifiers means universal quantifier is there for all x and there exist x i hope you know the meaning of there exist x meaning that out of all the tuples out of all the tuples it has to satisfy at least one condition at least so at least one tuple has to satisfy then you are going to get it as true for all x means all has to satisfy i mean for example if i try to take uh, a predicate as p of x p of x predicate means it's a kind of a condition meaning that x should be greater than 535 i am assuming i am assuming and my domain of x is my domain of values are something like 534 535 536 536 now can i say that this d is there exist x or for all x there exist x why there exist x because if you are going to take p of 534 what is the value you are going to get false meaning that there exists at least one false means there exists at least one x no right if there exists at least one true if i say that p of 535 p of 535 what is the result you are going to get true so can i say that out of all the values which are possible in this domain at least one value is true can i say that there exists x there exists x p of x or not so i can say that there exists d there exists a domain value of d which is satisfying p of d so can i write now for all d p of d no why because it has to satisfy all the conditions but if we take the 534 and 535 is 535 is true here or false false if we take p of 536 it is true now right so if you want to say for all d has to be true it has to satisfy this domain for all the values but if you observe here it is not true right for example if i say domain of x is 537 538 539 now domain of d is true for all d p of d is completely true because all the set of values which are supported by this domain are going to satisfy this condition i can call it as for all d p of d so that is the meaning of quantify there exist x and p of x right so if you observe here if you observe i know i hope you know the meanings of like and or and not directly i don't need to go for any explanation right so meaning that if i am going to have a domain uh, like a predicate p1 of t and p2 of t what is the meaning of this one when both has to satisfy a particular tuple that is going to be produce the output the simple example is the simple example is assume that assume that a is an attribute so a is an attribute of the tuple t t dot age has to be greater than 50 and t dot salary has to be greater than 30000 30000 right so now this is a kind of a predicate one this is a kind of a predicate two predicate two okay meaning that when both predicates are true then only my result is going to be true meaning that when both predicates are going to be satisfied then the respective tuple is going to produce as output here in tuple is calculus okay what about our condition either either of the condition is true that respective tuple is going to produce as output whereas coming to not condition just it's a kind of a complement i want to produce all the male employees all the male employees can i do it with female employees query i can able to apply simply for the condition of male employees i will simply apply not operator not operator right so similarly if you try to do for example uh, for all x for all x i am going to do p of x and q of x q of x can i distribute over uh, for all x to the inside can i distribute no or true right so i don't want to go in depth but as part of queries if some some ex in some examination you may observe the alternate cases right so can i distribute this one 
observe how, what is the meaning of distributive i am trying to split the for all x variable into inside for all x and for all x q of x is it possible it is possible meaning that for all x meaning that universal quantifier over conjective is distributive this is important logic right so meaning that you, you, you not only write to write like this you can able to write in this format also right but if you observe this particular situation i am trying to have a uh, like universal quantifier p of x or q of x what about this situation it is not distributive right so meaning that uh, for all x over disjunctive is not distributive i hope you are understanding right is not distributive what about the existential quantifier existential quantifier right if i am going to have existential quantifier there exist x p of x or q of x can i distribute over s or no i can distribute right meaning that what are the meaning of this one there exist when at least one is true the result is true if you are going to distribute also you are going to get there exist x p of x or there exist x q of x now also at least one is true the result is true there is no meaning changes but if you observe there exist x p of x and q of x now if i am going to distribute there exist x p of x and q of x there exist x q of x now it is not going to be supposed to be correct because there exist x over disjunctive disjunctive is it distributive yes i think i have written opposite this is not possible and it is possible it is possible you have to make sure to understand right so this this is what you have seen the discrete mathematics okay for example i am going to have for all x p of x can i apply negation operation over this one what is the result you are going to get there exist x negation p of x negation p of x right if i am going to have two times of negation for for all x p of x you will, you will get directly for all x p of x Right. the same kind of concept is available everywhere dld or discrete mathematics everywhere the same concepts are available okay fine so similarly for opposite the negation there exists x p of x negation of there exists x is equivalent to for all x for all x right similarly you are going to observe certain kind of situations where you are going to have p of x like this q of x what is the meaning of this one when p of x is true and compulsory q of x must should be should not be false to make the result as true right if it is this case when p of x is true and q of x is false your result is going to be false false meaning that if you would like to have this kind of situation then meaning that if you are going to observe this kind of thing if and then if a particular condition need to be true then its result need to be true then you can go for if then kind of condition like arrow operator implication we can call for example i can say every student every student in a class has to register has to register dbms course has to register dbms course how can you represent this one in the form of first order logic every means what it has satisfied for all for all right 
that also that depends upon the way we are representing first thing right first can i assume that students in the class as one domain it because i can classify the people who are in the class who are not in the class right i am going to assume p of x as students in the class as students in the class right and they can, they have to register in the course they have to register in the course right so meaning that i can able to take it as q of x right if i am saying that he is a student of a class they has to be compulsory register q of x otherwise what i can say like if it is true if i am saying that this is student of a class and i am saying that they are not registered is it a valid statement no because they are, they are not comes in our class they are not comes in our class right so for this i can able to apply for all x like this you can able to right for all the students who are belongs to a class they has to compulsory have to be register the course okay. so with this concept uh, i can go further writing the queries okay before this so here if you observe relational algebra is mainly concentrating on the output right meaning that uh, basically we are going to write the query for to satisfy certain kind of requirement right find out all the employees who belongs to department number 5 it's a kind of requirement right so meaning that relational algebra is trying to do what to get as well as how to get data we are going to simply define the procedure also that's it whereas coming to relational calculus we are not going to define any procedure we are going to simply define what to get that's it right we are going to simply write uh, the entire thing as one thing the automatically we are going to get the data that's the meaning okay right because of this reason i am going to call the relational calculus as declarative language declarative language. we are going to simply declare the like query okay so now we will try to write the queries in trc multiple relation calculus right how we are going to write the queries in trc uh, logic we are going to have a tuple as output tuple as output where that tuple has to satisfy conditions tuple has to satisfy the conditions right? for example let me write i want to find out the employees I want to find out the employees, the employees whose age is greater than 50. This is my requirement. Then in TRC, how will write means? How will write means? So final outcome is what? Something like table as yes. That is what my new relation. Assume that, right? This new relation I am going to assign with my query. So what that I am going to get? I am assuming that e to players I am getting. The tuple name is E. This tuple has to satisfy what conditions? Yes, yes conditions are to be satisfied, right? And also, the tuple must and should have to belongs to employee table. Am I right or not? The tuple must and should have to belongs to employee table. Other than employee table, is there any like? Is it correct? No. It has to compulsory belongs to employee table, and it's the tuple yes should be greater than 50. This is the corresponding query. You are going to write to get the query in the TRC. Okay, the same query you can write it in different ways. Somehow. You can write it in different ways. My output is a tuple E, where my tuple E should has to belongs to employee table, and its age is compulsory greater than 50. This is another way you can able to write. See the meaning is same or not? Employee of just representation. It's a kind of theoretical concept. You can write it in any manner. There is no problem. E is the tuple I need as output, and my E should be belongs to employee table. And as it's an attribute, it's like array structure. E of A H should be greater than 50. I can also write like this, right? Okay, fine. So or else you can write it as the another way also. My tuple outcome is E. It has to belongs to employee table and its age is greater than 50. So like this we can able to write it in many ways. That's why I am going to simply call it as non-processor language. There is no particular processor you are what you are writing. It has a simply simply like a kind of English sentence. Okay. But whereas coming to relational algebra, you have to compulsory 
right in the form some procedure because you have to perform natural join or theta join or cartesian product or selection or projection what you have to do in certain procedure you have to do right that's why that is processor language this is non processor language okay fine now let's see few examples okay i think it is not visible for you okay so anyway i will try to uh, call the queries so i hope you know the sales database which you have written the queries also right sales database contains a table called sales table reserves table and boards table boards table having the attributes boat id boat name and colors reserves table having sailor id boat id and day and uh, sailor table having sailor id sailor name rating and age if you want you can refer your notes also okay right so here the first question is they are asking us to write the query for find out all the sailors with a rating above 7 with a rating above 7 so meaning that they are trying to ask the people whose rating is above 7 right rating above 7 is belongs to sailors table only right can you able to write the query i am going to write the relation the relational calculus query i am assuming that as s as a tuple s as a tuple that s has to be compulsory existed in the sailors table sailors relation and whose rating whose rating is compulsory greater than 7 that's it this is the way you can able to write the trc query okay fine next find the names of the sailors with a rating above 7 right the difference is there here we are trying to ask the all the details mean that we are simply asking all the entire tuple whereas coming to here we are specifically asking only names names right so how can you do means so the as like as dot operator yes dot the what you are trying to expect here yes name s dot s name is the output where that tuple has to be belongs to sailor stable and it has to belongs to greater than 7 rating greater than 7 rating is it clear right okay fine next one find the names of the sailors who have reserved boat 103 right so we are asking here names of the sailors who have reserved boat 103 now my data is at two locations now right boat id is available at reservation table and sailors uh, s names are available at uh, sailors table so how we are doing to do, do means try to observe my final outcome is what s name which belongs to some tuple called s yes, right and that tuple s yes, should be compulsory belongs to sailors table sailors table and and what you have to do you have to try to combine right meaning that there exist certain there exist certain r tuple r tuple which is available in a table called reserves table in a table called reserves table i am trying to define like this reserves of r right i can write like r belongs to reserves also or reserves of r whatever the way you can write reserves of r it has to belongs to reserves of r and it has to satisfy what condition compulsory r dot boat id should be 103 r dot boat id should be 103 now is the query is correct is the query is correct what it is going to produce it is going to produce all the all the data all the sids all the sids as well as boat id as well as day whose reservation belongs to 103 but what they are asking they are asking names right how can you get the names from that no we need to again make it combining right how can you do that by using again r dot sid equal to s dot 
s dot s i here why i have written like there exist because it has to satisfy at least one condition if there is no condition also is it true or false it is true only if all are going to fail the result also true the result also true at the time what result true means what it is going to return something what is that returning it is not returning anything so your result is like zero right there exists that's why i am writing but when the condition is like uh, it, for all mean that it has to satisfy for all the data right that condition i will try to write the next some queries right i hope you know the meaning meaning that when you are trying to combine trying to combine two or more relations compulsory are going to use existential quantifier as well as universal quantifier try to observe find the names of the sailors who have reserved red boat for this what you are going to do s dot s name as the output required that should be belongs to sailors table and here red boat red boat color is belongs to boats table but i need s name so compulsory i need to combine boats with reserves reserves with sailors so then what i can do simply i can take there exist a tuple or tuple or and there exist a boat uh, like uh, a tuple b in the relations reserves of r and boats of b and what you have to do what is the basic condition boat dot color not id boat dot color first basic condition boat dot color equal to red and next what you have to do you have to combine if you want to combine boat dot id equal to r dot id and yes r dot s id equal to s dot s id so you are going to get b dot b id equal to r dot b id and r dot s id equal to s dot s id this is the way you can write right sometimes in some kind of uh, like because the, because of there is no procedure people will write, write in a different manner right s dot s name s dot s name there exist yes there exist yes which is belongs to sailors there exist a tuple r which is belongs to reserves there exist b tuple which belongs to boats and and they are going to write all the kind of conditions what are the conditions b dot color equal to red b dot bid equal to r dot bid r dot sid equal to s dot sid they are going to write that's it the way you are going to write is completely correct it should have to having some english meaning that's it there is no hard and fast rule you are going to follow in trc or drc but coming to relational algebra compulsory there has to be specific meaning because order of execution also important thing okay fine next find the colors of boats reserved by ins ins is what name of ins is name of this sailor or so based on our assumption we can write the query can i call it as a boat name okay so if i call it as a boat name my query is very simple ha huh. find the colors of boats reserved by ins so i can say that b means it's a kind of name of the sailor only as they are saying like the name itself clearly have meaning so colors of boats reserved by ins so in is the person who will reserve some boat right that is what they are asking right so what you can do simply again you need to combine sailors with reserves reserves with boats because they are asking the colors right then what you can do try to write the query for this they are asking the color right color like i am assuming that there exists a tuple called b that is like b dot color 
and this is belongs to what board table like b belongs to boards belongs to boards and you have to write there exist at least one tuple from sailors at least one tuple from reserves and then you are going to write all the things sailors of yes and reserves of or and the condition is what again you are going to write all these conditions i think no so you have to write again the proper uh, procedure how to con combine the tables right how we are going to do you are going to do it from sailors to reserves first how we are going to do first filtering whose s name first s so we are going to get s dot s name equal to ins and s dot sid equal to r dot sid and r dot pid equal to b dot pid b dot pid okay so you are going to get a tuple from that tuple i am going to get simply cal simply cal but this is the corresponding trc query for the given request okay fine next one find the names of the sailors who have reserved at least one boat can you tell the answer for this one you need to find out all the sailors who have reserved at least one boat is it same like as query number 3 query number 3 is like find the names of the sailors who have reserved boat 1 or 3 mean that we are going to filter the boats based on number 1 or 3 if you are not going to filter what will happen you are going to get all the details right so here what you have to do can i combine simply can i combine simply sailors and reserves if i am going to combine if there exists data it is going to produce it right if there exists data means what they are already having at least one boat at least one boat right so simply uh, they are asking the names so s dot s name and this s should be belongs to compulsory sailors table and there exist a tuple or which is belongs to reserves table and it has to satisfy r dot sid very good r dot sid equal to s dot sid that's it so it is going to combine and what are the tuples that you are going to get from that i am going to simply produce s name whereas coming to third query what is happening we are extra filtering the boat id is with the name number 103 that's the difference next find the names of the sailors who have reserved red or green boat what you can do you have to simply use r operator r operator right the thing is again s dot s name that s belongs to compulsory sailor stable sailor stable and there exist again r there exist again b r and b right r. reserves of r and boats of b and what you have to do you have to combine first who can write if you want you can write the basic meaning first basic question basic query that is what b dot color equal to red or so you can write like this b dot color equal to red or b dot color equal to green and you will write again conditions i think it is already combined no you have to go with uh, b dot bid equal to r dot bid and r dot sid equal to s dot you are going to get like this okay next one find the names of the sailors who have reserved red and green boat can we write and directly 
what about relational algebra have you used directly and operator or you have written the intersection operator by writing two separate queries what i said there if you are going to use directly intersection operator over the same query what will happen you cannot able to identify a tuple or a row with the same both color with red and green am i right or not there should not be any tuple with the same both having the color as red as well as green that is not correct so what you are going to do you are going to first find out all the red uh, color boards and then all green color boards then you are going to take out the common ids that you have to do right so what you are saying na here you are going to simply place and right but that is not correct right you have to write separate queries for both right so you can simply finally take out s dot s name s dot s name and this s has to belongs to compulsory sailors and and you have to compulsory take one more like this and you have to do there exist r and there exist board b you are going to write the query for red board red board you will get certain data certain data and from this you are going to write again there exist r there exist b you are going to get green color green color and in between these two it is going to produce the common things intersection operation then it is going to produce the respect to name okay na common thing next find the names of the sailors who have at least two boats at least two boats can you tell me how we are doing in the relational algebra you are going to simply use reserves table for two times and you are trying to find out the same id for the same id the tuple the domains having the boat id should be different the same logic here also you can apply right so i am going to find out the s name s name which is something like belongs to sailors and i am trying to say that there exist r1 tuple from reserve table there exist r2 table r2 table from the reserve table reserve table okay and then i am going to simply uh, write what you can write the conditions what you can do you can simply write r1 dot reserve right s side s id is equal to r2 dot s id and r2 dot sorry r1 dot b id should not be equal to r2 dot that's it i am going to simply identify the tuples having the same id but different boat ids so i can say that id is same different boat means they have at least two boats and for that i am going to get their s find the sids of uh, sailors with age over 20 with age over 20 and who have not reserved a red boat what you can do i am going to find out the name or sids right you can simply find out sids sids it has to belongs to sailors it has to belongs to sailors and there exist uh, i think you have to filter with the first h filter with h as well as you have to filter with not reserved with red board right but finally you need sids so you have to combine again all the tables all the tables right there exist board there exist reserves reserves of r boards of b and the basic condition is age age is belongs to sailors right s dot age is greater than 20 this is one condition and another condition is 
they have not to re resolve the red board so can i write like not not if i write not how we are going to find out the red boards how we are going to find the red boards can i write one more inner query or any is there another solution right he, up to here okay we are going to get all the tails whose age is 20 but we need to find out all the ages are greater than 20 as well as not registered with the red color board can i able to do like the people who are reserved other than red board other than red board other than red board means what can i make it as complement right not not uh, what i can say uh, like board color right board color is belongs to b not b dot color equal to red is it okay right because see try to observe here i can able to apply and concatenation and operator i can do because there exists a tuple having applying and operator or two to two attributes is possible applying uh, and operator or two domains is possible but applying and operator or two domains is not possible because there will be only single possible right see if i am saying that color color and boat id is 101 compulsory boat id 101 having boat id 101 having only single color it may not have two, two colors right i am asking for to find out the red color reservations as well as green color reservations if i am saying that board color equal to red and board color equal to red means is there any particular uh, domain value having both colors at the same time no so that is why here uh, at this particular location i made it as invalid but here for multiple attributes come checking it is correct i hope and right? relational algebra itself you understood this one so it is correct Find the names of the sailors who reserved all boats. Joy. Okay, here you need to write uh, join also, right? Okay, you need to write join also. You can write that, right? So you can write join based upon their IDs. You can write because it is common for all the things. Next one. Uh, you need to find out you need to find out the names of the sailors who reserved all boats i am trying to find out the names find out the names they has to be compulsory belongs to sailors sailors table and and there exist i am going to write for all b i'm going to write for all b what does it mean of for all b all the boards has to be satisfied the condition mean that all boards has to be registered by a particular person then i need to get that result for all b there exist all there exist all right for all b there exist all what i can do here boards of b boards of b and you can write other way right so like you can write the normal process or else i will go with some other processor as like as like observe this is somewhat efficient one for all b i am going to write boards of b for all b meaning that if there exists a board if there exists a board compulsory that board has to be true that has to be true right meaning that as i am saying that for all b meaning that this condition says that it has to be satisfied for all boards when all boards are there then it's going to produce true it's going to produce true okay and if all these boards are reserved by someone i am trying to say that there exists a reservation or from the reserves table table of r this table of r then what you can do you can do like the question is who has reserved all boards right so you have to just combine 
how how we can combine r dot boat id equal to p dot boat id and results dot s id equal to s dot s dot s i i think it is correct right so meaning that what is the meaning of this one for all boats for all boats where are the boats are applicable for all the boats if you are going to take one id one particular thing that has to be satisfied if it is not satisfied that will come sender calls if i am saying that see what is the alternative for this one even if it is false see even if it is false they are going to be get meaning is what whoever have reserved all compulsory has to get that's the meaning right what about this query i think this is navi so the same thing they have to reserve all boats who is having navi right you can able simply write s yes dot s name s should belongs to sailors and for all boats b boats of b and one more condition is added here b dot name navi is name right boat name b dot name should be navi b dot name should be navi and all the remaining things you have to write as usual right this is somewhat right here the trick is when you are going to observe the all you can simply use uh, for all implies for all as well as implies meaning that when the left side is completely true right side has to be true if it is not true your result is going to be fake result is going to be fake right it's a, like a discrete mathematics concept any doubts ma okay let's see a uh, few more examples uh, which are there for company database we already written Uh, the queries in relational algebra right we will quickly cover this also retrieve the employees who are working in department number 5 can you tell right you need the schema so i think uh, employees table is there employees table is there department table is there this is department table dependence table is there project table is there works on relation is there i think you remember right so based on this thing we can right, you can refer your class notes i think you can refer the class notes you can tell the answers retrieve the employees who are working in department number 5 right in the employee table itself we have department number right so i can able simply write i need to produce a tuple e this tuple should has to belongs to employees table employee table and e dot department number equal to 5 why i haven't used any other like any other quantifiers because they are belongs to same relation right next retrieve the first name last name of the employees who are working in department number 5 is which is simple right so same thing e dot first name comma e dot last name that e should be belongs to employee table and this e should be department number belongs to department number guys sometimes they may ask some other uh, relation uh, attributes also in the output at the time what you can do the respect to thing i think you, you understood right so employee table tuple name is e if i say that department 
ट्रिपल नेम इज डी डी डाट डिपार्टमेंट नेम दे आर आस्किंग एट द आउटपुट साइड व्हाट यू कैन डू डी डाट डी नेम आल्सो यू कैन राइट यू कैन कंबाइनली राइट ऑल दोस थिंग्स रिट्रीव द डिपार्टमेंट नेम ओके आई थिंक हियर इटसेल्फ रिट्रीव द डिपार्टमेंट नेम्स ऑफ द एम्प्लॉइज नंबर 535 ओके रिट्रीव द डिपेंडेंट नेम्स ऑफ द एम्प्लॉई नंबर 532 हाउ कैन यू राइट दिस वन dependents are available in dependents table and employee number is is also in same table employee number is also in the same table right if there is if it is not there in same table how it will re relate because it will act as a foreign key there so they are in the same table so i can directly write so i am saying that d dot i am saying the dependent name that d should belongs to the table is dependent or family table dependent okay okay anyway for time being you can assume it as dependent or family i am trying to write as a family and d dot d dot uh Yes, yes, sir. Data decision equal to five thirty. Is it okay for this query? Yes. So as like as like previous queries only, right? Next one, retrieve the dependent names of the employees who are working in research department, right? Here they are asking specifically dependent names of the employees who are working in research department. So what you have to do first? first you need to find out you need to find out the department numbers the department numbers from that department numbers you can able to find out the employee names of the department from that you, can, you have to uh, again uh, combine with the family table right so finally my output is dependent name only d dot dependent name department dependent name that d should belongs to family and and there exist a department so i am calling it as dt there exists a department dt and uh, there exist an employee table e e tuple e tuple like uh, department of dt and employee of e and what is the condition you have to do dt dot department name equal to research this is the basic condition this is the basic condition then you are going to get all data you are going to combine now with the employee table how we are going to combine combine by using department number so dt dot department number see you have to uh, thoroughly with the attribute names dd dot department number equal to e dot department number e dot department number you got the entire data now this again you have to cross check with what dependence the family table so so d dot ssn equal to e dot ssn i hope you understood the query right it is completely simple then relational algebra in relational algebra compulsory how to define uh, like how how we are going to combine right but whereas coming to here we can change this order also right that's why it is non processor retrieve the dependent names of employees whose first name is sevak why i have taken all the dependent names only depend uh, whose first name is sevak so what you are going to do must simply i think in place of okay so we'll write anyway d dot dependent name i am trying to do the dependent name belongs to family relation family relation and it has to satisfy uh with the employee table right employee table there is a employee tuple e that tuple belongs to employee table where e dot first name equal to Seva. Here, first name equal to Seva. 
and e dot ssn equal to d dot ssn i think it is correct right next one so for every project located in kadappa list the project number controlling department number controlling department number and the department manager number right the meaning is whatever the projects that are located in kadappa you have to define those project numbers as well as their controlling department numbers as well as their respective department manager numbers so what you can do let me write the schema here so i think uh, there is an employee table is there employee table is there and project table is also there what you required ma if you remember that schema tell employee table is definitely required project number controlling department number department manager number and project location right so project location is available in one schema right try to check with the notes in which table it is available or else can you write the query for this by yourself can you write yes you can write this because uh, we haven't have availability of uh, the schemas right so i think it is easy only just you have to combine with the, the product location as kadapa okay next find the names of employees who work on some projects controlled by department number 5 what you can do you have to identify the names of employees who work on some projects controlled by department number 5 so what you have to do you have to identify the manager of department number 5 you have to identify the manager of department 5 so that that manager is controlling the respective employees okay so you can refer the earlier uh, table schema sum okay so how can you write here i am going to simply write s dot i am assuming that only first name as i am printing which is belongs to sales table sales table okay fine uh, i am thinking about uh, the schemas actually that's why i am getting s yes. okay s yes, uh, is belongs to employee employee and there exists a department there exists a department d or dt dt that should be belongs to department table dd and you have to find out the department number so how are going to get dt dot d num equal to 5 d dot d num equal to 5 from this from this can you able to get the managers can you able to get the manager ssn yes or no so what you can do na we can stop here you can stop here you are going to get certain data you are going to get certain data what is that data the manager ssn manager ssn who are working in the department number 5 who are working in the department number 5 now i am trying to combine i am trying to combine this with another table called employee table there exists an employee there exists an employee how are going to combine ma what is this yes right yes dot yes dot what you have to do super ssn s dot super ssn is equal to dt dot 
manager assistant very good manager dot assistant right now what you got you got the entire data that data belongs to all the employees who are managed by department number 5 Manager by department 5 now from this one i am going to simply project their names is it okay right see try to observe i have a department table department table here department number is there and uh, department manager assistant is there manager assistant is there right if i am going to give five as input i will get his id number let his id number now 532 is id number 532 is here actually what super assistant and employee id is there employee id is something like 526 what is the meaning of this one 532 is the supervisor for 526 what they are asking the same they are asking right the employees who are working on some projects which are controlled by department number 5 you can have to write like this right okay find the names of employees who work on all projects controlled by department number 5 here you got all projects all projects right then what you are going to do you have to compulsory use for all for all related to which table for all meaning that how many products are there that you can able to identify from which table products table so products table belongs to for all and remaining will become under implication operator so i will write so they are asking names right so employee first name and employee last name employee last name that is belongs to employee table employee table and for all the projects for all the list of projects right so meaning that i need to find out an employee who worked for all the projects 1 to 10 means all 10 projects he has to work for all p of projects p of projects p which are controlled by which department department number 5 so i will write simply p dot department number equal to 5 i think the data is there itself p dot department number 5 that has to be done like this there exists a works on relation there exists a works on relation on the works on w and you can write like this w dot p number is equal to p dot p number and w dot essn is equal to e dot this is the corresponding query for to solve this okay similarly you need to retrieve the employee names who have no dependents what you can do can you find out the query for who have dependents who have dependents can we make the negation that's it right simply so i will I'll find out the names of the employees right e dot first name comma e dot last name last name and this e tuple belongs to employee e and there exists a family tuple f which is belongs to family of f and i am trying to com combine the two tables f dot essn equal to e dot ssn right the meaning is what i am trying to find out all the employees who have at least one dependent at least one dependent right at least one dependent if i am going to make it converse or negate i can say that who have no dependents no dependents similarly okay i think this is the answer also you have no right list the names of employees who have at least one dependent what is the query for this same query you have to write without negation e dot first name e dot last name employee of e and there exist f family of f and f dot essn equal to e dot ssn that's it right so similarly i will try to complete the sixth one also
right what they are asking me here they are asking us to print first uh, uh, the control and department number department manager number as well as project number as well as project number right because these are all available in different kind of locations i will try to write observe first i am going to do project number assuming that tuple name is p p dot project number department number tuple name is d so i can call it as d dot department number department number right or if you are able to view the uh, table of the project it contains the department number it contains the department number so i am going to directly access with respect to the same tuple only p dot department number and many recession you are going to get it from the another table under table i am calling it as here d d so d dot manager ss this is the meaning right if you would like to produce multiple columns data in the output i have to take it with respect to the respect to tuples that is the meaning of this one right then i will try to combine uh, simply project of p and there exists a department department of d and 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 i think i need to combine with uh, some kind of project i have taken the project right project is already taken so i can directly drive right p dot what is the base question location p dot project location should be compulsory kadappa compulsory kadappa and you have to combine it with many recession also right uh, that is d i have taken d dot many recession equal to right the assume that the many recession is in department number uh, manager department what about uh, the combination try to think uh, we have the three tables department table is there project table is there project table is there from project table you are going to get project number as well as project location project location along with using department number can we get hmm in both tables having department number as comma right can we can we take it with the department number we can take the department number right now what you can do p dot department number equal to d dot department number right this is the corresponding query for to solve this equation So I hope it is clear for you.